In this video, I'm gonna talk about 13 AI side hustles that anyone can start, and one of them you can make over $13,500 per month with. Bing pot. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the AI side hustles that one, you can actually make money with, like it's not impossible to be able to make money with them, and two, ones that you've probably never heard of before. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one, which is going to be AI editing for YouTube and TikTok. So two examples of faceless channels that are gaining a ton of views on YouTube and also making a ton of money are going to be the Swedish investor. And they're in the investing niche, which typically makes between 11 and $50 per 1000 views and top cars TV. And they're in the auto niche, which typically makes 10 to $12 per 1000 views. So both of these channels likely make over $10,000 a month. I wouldn't be surprised if the Swedish investor is making more like 50,000 plus dollars a month. Now, some of the skills you're going to need here are going to be strategic thinking. And this is basically things like figuring out your niche, thinking about different topic ideas that you're going to make videos on and figuring out how you can give value to your audience. And then the second skill you're going to have to have is prompting skills because you are going to be heavily utilizing AI in just about every aspect of the video creation process. And to succeed in this side hustle, you're going to need this one AI tool and that is called NVIDIA. So NVIDIA is an AI editing tool that automates pretty much everything from producing a video to scripts to getting stock photos, the voiceover, and heck, even the subtitles. So just a quick run through of the features in NVIDIA. You should sign up first. Let's open your browser, then open NVIDIA.io. The best thing about this is that it's absolutely free, but it's best to use the paid version of it to remove watermarks and have access to millions of royalty-free stock footage clips and a human-sounding voiceover. If you use a free account, the final video you produce has watermarks as opposed to a clean export you can have with a paid one. These are the features of NVIDIA. There's a workflow slash platform selector. You can choose what types of video you'll be producing. Is it for shorts or a long form video? You have these choices. That's YouTube shorts, YouTube explainer, recent events video and script to video. For script writing, if you want, NVIDIA has the script to video feature, which you can utilize if you have a written script. We will only use YouTube shorts for now because we're going to upload this on TikTok. Click it, then you will see a new panel. It asks you what your video is about. So for example, we're going to make videos about the benefits of a booty band. Let's prompt with this. So five benefits of a booty band. Then for settings, you can select the narrator's voice, either male or female. You can add subtitles for this. I'm going to choose the one that highlights every spoken word with yellow. Then you can select what type of stock photos or videos it will use. So we're going to select a female voice with a sexy Southern accent, just because our target buyers for our yellow basket product will mostly be women. After you click the generate button, you'll wait a few minutes and you'll have these options. One audience, two look and feel, three platform. So for audience, we're going to choose fitness enthusiasts for look and feel. I kind of like the minimalist modern and for platform again for TikTok. So it should be YouTube shorts. At this point, you can still edit the prompt, but for this, let's go and generate the video, wait for a few minutes and watch the magic happen. All right, so for editing on NVIDIA, let's watch the generated video list. Looks good considering it only took us a few minutes to do it. Although if you don't like certain parts of it, like the background music, for example. Two, it's versatile. From squats to lunges, there's no limit to the exercises you can enhance with a booty band. You can use NVIDIA's AI to make the changes for you. Simply type out the prompt in the command box. Once you're done, click generate and a new video will be created with the changes you requested like so. Now let's see how it looks. Two, it's versatile. From squats to lunges, there's no limit to the exercises you can enhance with a booty band. Alternatively, you can edit the video yourself. You can click the edit button and then you can replace clips that you don't want using NVIDIA's built-in stock media library, which contains more than 8 million royalty free clips from sources like Shutterstock and iStock. You can also edit the script too. You can change overlays or titles as well. But for now, we're going to stick with this one. Then step six, exporting. After we settled on something that looks so good and feels so right, now we must export the video. So to do this, you have to click the export video button and then here you'll be presented with a choice if you have the paid version you can go for no watermarks and no branding otherwise we're going to stick with the free version with watermarks and branding then choose the resolution of your video i recommend using 1080p people are not using nokia 3600 today right then press continue and voila we're good to go after it renders and you download it now you can literally do the same exact process for youtube shorts as well you can also integrate it with other types of ai tools such as using mid journey to generate photos and yeah it's just a really cool tool it's made making shorts 
it's extremely easy. And now I really do like NVIDIA, but this is a sponsored video and you can get started with NVIDIA AI for free. But if you're serious about video creation and want to publish videos with a watermark, I highly recommend you should upgrade to a paid plan, which starts as low as $20 per month. You'll need to upgrade to remove the watermarks and gain access to millions of royalty free stock footage clips and a human sounding voiceover. So if you looked elsewhere, all of the tools would cost you hundreds of dollars if you source them individually. Plus NVIDIA has the overall most affordable monthly and overall pricing compared to famous traditional video editing tools. So you can compare NVIDIA to Adobe Premiere Pro, for instance, or Filmora, or Animoto, or Final Cut Pro. So make sure to download NVIDIA and you can find the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now on YouTube, there's two potential ways that you could usually earn money and that's through the YouTube Partner Program and that's basically where you get paid AdSense and that's essentially getting paid whenever an ad shows on one of your videos. And then the second way you could potentially get paid with a faceless channel is going to be affiliate marketing. And that's basically where you put an affiliate link for a product or a service down in the description. And then during the video, you kind of talk about the product or service and you tell them that, yeah, hey, if you want to check it out, it's down in the description. And if they end up buying it, you get a small percentage of that purchase. So I think that YouTube is the absolute best platform out there when it comes to making money. And I do think there's a lot of opportunity when it comes to AI and faceless YouTube channels. So for that reason, I am going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And the next one on the list is going to be making pitch decks because convincing people to invest in your dreams is harder than it looks, but it pays. And this basically involves crafting engaging presentations to persuade people to invest in your company or idea. And there's an example of someone doing this who's a pastor living in rural Arkansas and makes $3,000 a week with his side hustle where he uses ChatGPT to make pitch decks for startups. So that's $12,000 a month he's making as a side hustle. It's not even his main job. He's not doing it full time. But typically earnings from a pitch deck are going to be somewhere between $500 and $1,000 dollars per pitch deck. And of course, you can make much more money than that once you get your skills to a high quality level. And you can make even more money than that once you have some clients and some testimonials and you've done a good job in the past. So the first thing you would want to do is familiarize yourself with pitch decks. Then you'd want to study the types of companies that regularly hire people for this type of side hustle. Then you would use ChatGPT to generate ideas for pitch decks. And then you'd use another AI tool called Tome to create a presentation out of it. Now, the secret ingredient to creating pitch decks, which is really what separates the successful ones from the unsuccessful ones is going to be the ability to tell a story. So you'd want to brush up on your storytelling skills as well. Then you would want to build a portfolio of pitch decks that you've created for different companies and start advertising yourself on freelancing platforms such as Upwork, Fiverr.com or Freelancer. So overall, this is a really good one. And as with just about any type of freelancing or any type of business, you want to specialize in particular types of companies. So for instance, you might specialize in SaaS B2B B companies, or you might even specialize even further in cloud-based SaaS B2B companies. And generally speaking, the more you specialize, the easier it is for you to be an expert and the easier it is for you to charge high prices. So overall, I really like this one. A lot of opportunity here. I'm going to give it an 8.5 opportunity score. Next is going to be overdubbing videos in other languages. And with overdubbing, you basically use AI tools to translate and dub videos into different languages, making them accessible to a global audience. <laughs> And you can use tools such as wearenova.ai in order to do this. And there's a story of a YouTuber named Chris McCauley who wanted to launch a translation of his videos into Spanish. And he initially turned to translations.com, which is a go-to among YouTubers, but the company quoted him $4,000 for dubbing 100 minutes of footage. Then he came across Nova AI, which is another tool you can use. And it's a software that can translate and add subtitles to videos. And Nova AI's pro plan priced at $18 a month allows users to translate 300 minutes of footage into 75 different languages. Now, are these translations going to be absolutely perfect? No, of course they're not. If you know anything about translating languages, you know that the translations are not always going to be absolutely perfect. You invited them to get naked and sacrifice a small goat. But this is an easy way to make content accessible to an audience that otherwise would not have any access to it whatsoever. And there might be a few things here and there that are incorrect, but they're probably gonna get the overall picture of what the translation actually means. And these AI translating tools are getting more and more accurate every day. So the first thing you'd wanna do to start this side hustle is to get 
get access to a tool such as Nova AI. Then you would want to choose a particular niche and build a portfolio to show that you have the skills to do this. Then you would want to outreach to different content creators, whether this is filmmakers, YouTubers, or businesses that work in different countries and offer your overdubbing services. And you wanna emphasize the value of reaching a wider global audience through multiple languages. You could also post on different freelancing platforms such as Fiverr, Upwork, or freelancer.com. And you'd probably wanna start off with some lower priced gigs just to build your reputation. Then you'd wanna handle the projects efficiently, do a good job with them, and then maintain your relationship with the client so you get more work in the future. So overall, this one is pretty good. Like I said, these AI tools are getting better and better every day. And of course, they're not going to be as good as a professional translator, but as long as you communicate that to the person and they understand exactly what they're getting, there shouldn't be any issues. And I've actually seen some of my friends who do SEO professionally. And basically what SEO is, is they create different blogs and then create articles on those blogs. And they try to rank for different keywords that are related to things that people would actually buy in other countries. And many of them are actually using these translation tools to basically copy their entire blog in a bunch of different languages. And like I said before, the translation tools are of course not perfect, but they're still seeing a ton of success doing this. So overall, I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be voiceover impressions. It doesn't sound anything. It doesn't sound anything like me. And this is where you either clone your own voice and turn it into an AI generated voice, or you use a tool like voice.ai to change your voice into a celebrity impression, such as Morgan Freeman. This is the incredible true story of how I came to be fired from pets at home. And as you can see, there is an entire industry on websites like Fiverr that do exactly this. For instance, Optimus Prime, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kermit the Frog, Borat, Yoda and C-3PO, and a number of other different impressions. And you can also use a website like 11labs.io to clone your own voice. So there's so many different ways that you could make money doing this. You could start faceless YouTube channels. You could do voiceover impressions. You could have the AI actually read out people's books, or you you could do freelance voiceover gigs. I hear your breath. Now, again, if you are using an AI to do this, it's not gonna be quite as good as a professional voiceover artist. And there may be certain parts of the voiceover that you have to go in and edit, but it's much faster than just doing the voiceover yourself. And as long as you set proper expectations with your clients, this shouldn't be an issue. And voiceovers are getting better every single day. So you could actually start a business here where if you're doing purely AI voiceover recordings, you can just hire other people to do all of the work for you. And the only thing you have to to do is market. So the sky's the limit in terms of how much you can make doing this. But I would say if you really give this a good try and you really take it seriously, you could definitely get to at least $3,000 a month with this side hustle. I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next one is going to be podcast show notes. And this is where you use AI to transform podcast episodes into tidy digestible summaries faster than you can say the word subscribe. Subscribe. And this is actually mega useful. This is something that I use myself because there are a lot of podcasts that I like to follow, but I don't always have an hour or two to listen to them. And so there are tools out there that you can use where it basically just translates the entire podcast into digestible notes. And it shows you exactly when they're talking about these different things. And so you can kind of just skim through the notes on the podcast, see what catches your eye, and then just listen to that part. And it's actually becoming more and more common for podcasts to offer this. And you see a bunch of different gigs on websites like Fiverr, where they will do exactly this for you. So this person, for instance, will do it for 30 $35. This person will do it for $20. And this person will do it for $35 as well. And you can see they're getting tons and tons of sales. 656 different people bought this and they gave them a five star rating. And what these people don't know is that 99% of the work is done by AI. So you can use tools like Melville or Descript in order to do all of the work for you. And a bonus on this one is if you combine this AI tool with another type of AI tool, which is making shorts, you'll be able to offer a combination of services. So first you would make the podcast show notes and then you would make highlights from the podcast and you would turn those into shorts. So yeah, obviously lots of different opportunities here, all the way from just doing little gigs here and there to starting a full blown business. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, creating organic content is a part of digital marketing. And digital marketing is one of the most common ways to start making money online.
online, working from home, working remote, or doing a side hustle. And I've interviewed a ton of different people on this channel that have been able to get digital marketing jobs, even though they didn't have a college degree or previous experience. And many of them went on to start digital marketing side hustles and even companies. For instance, Fabian went from a factory worker to making $70,000 a year right away with digital marketing skills. And my friend Seth helped all of these people start making money with digital marketing skills. And he actually does have a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely go ahead and check that out if you're interested in digital marketing by clicking down in the description or pinned comment below. Next is going to be resume writing. These are all just blank pieces of white paper. Now this is one that I'm very familiar with because I help people make their resumes all the time. And the thing about resume writing is it's not so much about helping you get a job, but not having a good resume will lose you the job. So you basically just need to make sure that it's decent. And there's a story of a 35 year old teacher who brought in 2 million from his resume writing side hustle. And with the power of AI, you can do this much more quickly. Now there's a ton of different AI resume websites out there. In my opinion, the best one is going to be Resi AI. Resi AI is great and you can also combine it with ChatGPT just to make things a little bit better. Now, typically it's not going to perfectly write anyone's resume right off the bat, but it'll get about 80% of it right. And then you go in and you fix things using ChatGPT and your own brain. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you again, like many other types of freelancing or making money online, it's gonna be best if you specialize. Not only will it be best for you, but it'll also be best for the client. So you want to pick a particular type of career to write resumes in. And you want to really familiarize yourself with that career and that industry. That's going to be the key for you writing really good resumes using AI. So overall, I think resume writing is a phenomenal opportunity. I've known people who've started seven figure businesses in certain places like finance or management consulting, and it was all from writing resumes. So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment below if you like any of these side hustles or there's other side hustles that you'd like me to talk about in the future. I always read the comments and there's a good chance that I will do exactly that. Next is going to be creating stock images. AI is getting so good that it's almost indistinguishable from real life images. And so what you want to do as someone who creates AI generated images is you want to see what type of images people are often searching for and then see what type of images are already offered on these different platforms. For instance, Adobe Stock actually does allow AI generated images on their platform. So if you know the supply and you know the demand, then you're gonna be able to see that there are certain gaps in the market. And that's where you want to go ahead and fill those gaps by making a bunch of AI generated images. And on Adobe Stock, you'll actually get 33% royalties. So let's say you sell an image for $1, you will get 33 cents out of that. And that probably doesn't sound like much, but if you think about the fact that you create an image one time and then it's just on there forever, earning you royalties for the rest of your life, that can really add up over time. So each time you create an image and put it on a website like that, it's almost like a little soldier that's out there making money for you 24 seven. Now there's many different tools out there that are doing this. The most well-known one of course is Mid Journey. And there's actually an artwork that was created with AI and everyone knows that it was created with AI that sold for $432,000 at auction. And this was just a portrait by AI program that created it. So there's definitely a lot of money, a lot of opportunities out there for this type of side hustle. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you think of anyone else that could get value from this video and you're enjoying it yourself, go ahead and share it with them. Maybe it's a friend, a family member, or just somebody who needs to make a little bit of extra money on the side. Next, let's talk about prompt engineering. And I am super excited about this one. So prompt engineering is basically all about crafting specific prompts that you would put into an AI tool such as ChatGPT. And in the programming world, there's this acronym known as GIGO. And that stands for garbage in, garbage out. And basically what that means is if you write garbage code, you're gonna get garbage results. And it's the same thing in the prompting world. The better you are at prompting AI, the better results you're going to get at the end. And this is how you can turn a vague idea into something bizarrely specific and utterly delightful. I want a football <laughs> field size to cannoli. And I've seen a ton of different articles of people who've turned prompt engineering into a business. And people are hiring prompt engineers to come up with custom prompts for their businesses or even their personal lives. And they typically charge $300 per prompt. And there's even websites that specialize in this like promptbase.com. And this is a collection of over 100,000 different top AI prompts. And this helps you to produce better outputs, save time on API and costs, and sell your own prompts. So as a prompt engineer, you could make sort of mass market prompts that hundreds or even thousands 
thousands of different people could use and they might buy them for one to five dollars or probably a better use of your time is to go into businesses figure out what their business needs are and create specific prompts that would help with those and in these cases you could get paid on the low end three hundred dollars to on the high end tens of thousands of dollars every time you do this so there's a ton of opportunity when it comes to prompt engineering not only in side hustles but you can also get hired as a job and there's people that got hired as prompt engineers for their job that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year so this one is absolutely hot right now i'm going to give it a nine out of ten opportunity score next is going to be a little bit controversial but just give me a moment to explain and that is going to be using ai for freelance coding now you might be thinking shane there's absolutely no way that ai or chat gpt can do coding coding is just too complicated maybe 10 years from now but it definitely can't do it right now well you're right for most types of coding however as amar reshi showed there are some types of coding where you can absolutely use ai so for instance he used chat gpt and replit to code a snake game that runs in your browser and he had zero knowledge of javascript and he did it in less than 20 minutes now more practical uses of doing this would be something like designing a basic website or designing a basic app for someone to just get started with a minimum viable product so for instance there's people that offer to create custom desktop applications and they only only charge about $30. Now, if they were doing all the coding themselves, I guarantee you they wouldn't be able to charge $30. The reason they're able to charge that low is because they have an AI doing 95% of the heavy lifting for them. So this one takes a little bit of creativity because you kind of have to know what people are looking for. And you also have to know what is available on the AI market that can do these different tasks. But there is a ton of opportunity here. And every day there's new different types of AI programs and AI software that's coming out to make this easier and easier. So definitely look into this one I think right now I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score but it could be much better in the future next is going to be AI graphic design and there are so many different places that you could do this with one example would be designing t-shirts and there's a guy who makes fourteen thousand six hundred dollars a month in passive income and only works one hour a day on his online business and that's exactly what he does and there are tons of different gigs on Fiverr of people who use AI art and AI graphic design and make a ton of money Money with it. So for instance, this person charges $30 to create quick custom AI art using Midjourney Advanced, and they have 506 five-star ratings. That means they made at least $15,000, and you have to take into account that a bunch of people probably didn't rate them, so it's probably a lot higher than that. And that is just one posting. They might have 10 or 20 different ones. So yeah, lots of opportunity here. The only limit is your creativity and imagination. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a AI copywriting. And I know what you're thinking, Shane, there's no way AI can do good copywriting. And the truth is, again, for most examples, you are right about that. However, there's certain types of copywriting that AI can help with tremendously. And if you don't believe me, there's an article about a self-made millionaire who said, this is how I'd use AI to make thousands of dollars a month in passive income with less than $100. And one of the main things that he talked about was using ChatGPT for marketing and copywriting. So for instance, a type of copywriting I've seen a lot of people have success with is you take a long form piece of copy that was written really well already, and then you turn it into a series of tweets. So this is a type of ghost Twitter writing that a lot of people do. They find really well written long form versions of copy, they plug it into ChatGPT or something like that, and then they turn it into a series of tweets and they you know make it original. And that can be really, really good. There's also tons of people who advertise copywriting on places like Fiverr. Some of them actually admit that it's AI, others say that it isn't, but chances are they have heavily utilize AI in order to help them write good copy. And you can see they charge decent amounts of money. So for instance, this person, Chloe, charges $100 per copy. This person, Kate, charges $75 per copy and she's got over 1,000 reviews. Lauren charges $100 per copy and she's got over 1,000 five-star reviews. So yeah, there is a ton of money in copywriting. There's many YouTubers that hire copywriters to help them write their scripts as well. So there's just a ton of opportunity here. And of course, you're always gonna have to look over it and make little changes here and there and make sure that it's good. But overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be writing tweets for famous creators or businesses. And this is kind of what I touched on just a few minutes ago. Basically, you find really good pieces of content out there that the creator or business owner either wrote themselves or they really like. Then you sort of understand their voice and their opinion about things. And then you use AI to break down those pieces of content and make original tweets from them. And this is also known as being a Twitter ghostwriter. And this is actually extremely extremely profitable if you're a Twitter ghostwriter for something like a venture capitalist or somebody who invests in companies. So again, this is one where
one where you definitely want to specialize in a particular niche. You definitely don't want to be writing tweets for a bunch of different niches because you're not going to be able to be an expert on every single niche out there. And there's also people on Fiverr who offer to write different tweets for somebody's brand. So yeah, this is a really good one. I've seen people absolutely crushing it with this one lately. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about a super simple one that literally anyone could do. And that's going to be a background removal service. So this is basically where you remove the background behind somebody. So you basically cut it out to where it's just white behind them. And that can be really good for, for instance, making YouTube thumbnails. A few years ago, for instance, I paid someone like $500 to remove the background of hundreds of different photos. And then I've been using those photos on my thumbnails ever since. Or in some cases, this might be removing somebody else from a picture. So if someone photobombed your picture, or there's just something really annoying in the picture, you can actually remove that. Now, there's many different websites you can do this on. For instance, Canva recently has been experimenting with a lot of AI related stuff. Also, there's a website remove.bg where you can remove backgrounds. And then there's many different websites where you can edit photos. So I don't know how long this one is going to last, but right now it's a relatively good opportunity. There's lots of different gigs on Fiverr selling these types of services. And to be honest with you, removing backgrounds or removing someone from a photo is incredibly hard if you do it manually. It's actually extremely tedious, but if you can do it using AI, it's done almost instantly. So I can see why people are able to make so much money doing this. I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I had a video that went viral. You can check it out. It's 10 side hustles that you can do to earn money. And you can check that out by clicking right here.